what's up guys welcome back to my channel i'm angela altieri if this is your first time here and welcome to the video today of the sneaker unboxing i have the joe fresh goods x new balance 90 60. so if you're interested in these my thoughts and review then you know the deal you know the drill and you know the vibes let's get it okay so here we have the box <laughs> basically these are the joe fresh goods x new balance 9060 these released may 20th 2022 for 180 dollars these are men's nine and a half which definitely don't fit me because i'm a men's five but you can see the box is this like acid wash or tie-dye um teal aquamarine color more so teal you know the new balance kind of looks smoky or hazy and new balance branding throughout and on the side it says made for us which i think is really cool and the rest of the box is a dusty sage color the inside of the box says be quiet our imaginations are speaking I think that's really cute a little bit about this sneaker and the collaboration joe fresh goods is a designer and creative director from the west side of chicago i'm also from the west side of new york city <laughs> uh and this is the last sneaker in his inside voices collection which is based on the thoughts feelings and sounds of growing up in a black household um a picture of him and the other sneakers in the collection. I think it started last year in 2021, 2022, 2021, August, 2021, I believe. So yeah, and the 9, 90, 60 is a new lifestyle model for New Balance. So let's take a look at the 90, 60. So here we have the sneaker. We have the pretty frosted strawberry pink on the also, which I think is really, really nice. Like a, a muted pink. Nothing too bright, but nothing too deep as well. And it says absorb and absorb also. The midsole is a mix of white and matte sage green towards the heel. The upper, we have a mix of suede and mesh. The suede comes in a very light sage green and more of a deeper tone of that like same green very muted soft colors we have very soft breathable mesh and a vanilla color but i guess you could call it like a soft muted yellow orange it's hard to describe this color especially since it's in a mesh so you're not really getting its true color very similar to what the laces are that are already on the sneaker which i would describe as like a very soft muted pink peach with a yellow undertone. I don't know. It, it's hard to describe, but you get the gist. You're seeing the sneaker and it's true to color. Um, on this side, we have the 9060 tag. Uh, it's lined in pink and like quilted material. Let me see if we're, yeah. The insole, we have like a tie-dye moment of a light peach and orange. The tongue is mesh, which you can't really see because the laces are kind of tight. And then top of the tongue is actually that sage green and a leather material instead with some 9060 branding, New Balance branding. The lining of the tongue is also pink, which I think is really cute. The back of the sneaker we have joe fresh goods branding and it says voices again to tie it back to his collaboration and the inspiration for the collection he's created and uh, obviously the new balance uh, logo on this side here's what the outsoles look like it's a gummy outsole and like a deep peach i would say with some more new balance branding and hints of the green 
which I think are really nice. We have extra laces. So it comes with like the peachy color, the very muted pale peachy color, the saved green, white. Sometimes you gotta look at your whites just to make sure they're not like off white. And the frosted pink. But these are the sneakers. I think they're super cute. Um, if I had to think about them on my feet and how they would look, kind of reminds me of a 500 because 500 you could see the outsole on the 500 so it's very much giving me that vibe just with the more pointed um toe but I'm trying to think like how well would I like these I love the color I think it's very spring very summer very girly I know like guys are gonna wear the shoe as well but definitely very girly very beautiful and pretty and perfect for the summer months to come. I think it might be a little bit hot with the quilt material. The mesh is definitely breathable, but I don't know, that quilt lining, it might be a little hot for the summer. I'm still trying to gather my thoughts for reading. It's hard to tell when I look at a really big shoe because, you know, you have to try things on just to really know. But I would give them a 9. Just like this, I would give them a 9. I think the color is absolutely beautiful. The The materials are great as well. And the colors picked for each material, I think it works really well. I love the frosted pink. I love the inspiration and the story behind it. I think it's beautiful. The only thing I don't really like is, is this piece right here. But it does bring a lot of contrast to the sneaker itself. Something shiny to contrast like a lot of the matte textures that are going on in the shoe. I think the metallic shininess is really nice touch. So I guess I retract the fact that I don't like it. Because the more that I look at it, I understand it's, you know, purpose for the sneaker and what it does for it, like artistic wise. So yeah, I give these a nine out of ten. I would definitely give these maybe nine and a half. I think they're really cute. I think they look really cute. Some biker shorts. I think these are cute. I officially give them a nine and a half out of 10. Let me know what you guys think about these down below. But yeah, that's it. That's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, hit the like button down below. Comment, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notification if you're feeling froggy. I post all the time. If you like me and you like this video, share it to a friend, one friend, all your friends, Instagram winner i'll link all my social media down below thank you guys so 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 much for watching and i hope to catch you in the next